morning friends and welcome to Mrs. Maz's Reading and Research Corner. Today I am going to read a nonfiction book to help you with your animal reports and we're going to read about elephants. Now this is from a series that I have that's got about a dozen different animals and in some of the books I'm not reading every single page but when I started to look at the animal table of contents or I mean the elephant table of contents I just couldn't decide what to leave out. So I'm going to read all of them. We're gonna learn about the elephant, elephant types, where do you find elephants, beginning life, growing up, living in a herd, feeding, teeth, trunks, communicating, moving, keeping cool, elephants in danger, and their life cycle. So remember, in your animal reports, you have a graphic organizer to fill in. And one of the benefits of me reading to you on a video is that you can take notes while you listen, and you can also stop and rewind at any point if you didn't quite get something down but you thought it was a good fact. You can listen to it multiple times to get your different questions answered. And remember, one of your categories is what else did you find out that was interesting about your animal? So anything I read here could fit into that category if it isn't in one of your other categories. So let's begin. The elephant. The elephant has a huge gray body and strong legs that look like pillars. It has a long trunk instead of the short nose that we humans have. It also has large flapping ears. Most elephants have tusks too. These are extra long teeth which continue to grow through the elephant's life. The male elephant is called a bull and the female is called a cow. Elephants live in groups called herds. And here this caption reads, a fully grown female elephant uses her trunk to feed on grass. You can see she's pulling it up to her mouth. What sort of animal is an elephant? The elephant belongs to a group of animals called mammals. Other mammals include lions, horses, and humans. A fully grown bull elephant is pictured here. You can tell because look how long his tusks are. The tusks continue to grow throughout the elephant's life. And here's a fun fact. The elephant is the largest living land animal. So, largest living land animal. Can you think of what a largest living sea animal might be? I bet you can. Elephant types. So some of you have been specific about what kind of elephant you wanna research. So a lot of this book applies to all elephants, but we'll also learn some key facts about certain types of elephants. The, there are three species or types of elephant. They are the African, African forest, and Asian elephants. The Asian elephant is often called the Indian elephant. The African elephant is the largest of the elephants. It has large ears and long tusks. The Asian elephant has much smaller ears and its skin is less wrinkled. And here it says, an Asian female elephant, the Asian has small ears and a long face. See how tiny those ears are compared to some elephants like this guy right here? Those are much bigger ears. Spot the difference. Look quickly and you may think the African and African forest elephants appear the same, but there are some differences. The African forest elephant is smaller. It also has a hairy trunk. Its tusks point downward, so they do not get tangled up in the vegetation in the forest where it lives. So this is an African bull elephant. Both the African bull and female Asian bull elephant have tusks. The African elephant has a dip in its back. The Asian elephant has an arched back. Where do you find elephants? The African and African forest elephants live in Africa. 
The African elephant is found mainly in East Africa on tropical grassland known as savanna. The savanna is a vast open plain covered in grass and a few trees. The African forest elephant is found in the tropical forests of Central and West Africa. So here is a map, if you can see it. And here's Asia, and so elephants are found in the lower part of Asia and in two parts of Africa. The Asian elephant is found across South and Southeast Asia. It lives on grassland and in forests. The Asian elephant has become domesticated. This means it has been captured and kept by humans for thousands of years. Asian elephants are easier to train to carry out jobs of lifting heavy things like logs. So it doesn't mean all Asian elephants are trained, but it means that of the trained elephants, they're usually Asian elephants. Beginning life. After mating with a bull elephant, a female elephant is pregnant for 22 months. That's a long time. People are pregnant for nine months. <laughs> she gives birth to only one baby at a time. A baby elephant is called a calf. A newborn calf has reddish hair over its back, head and back. It gradually loses this hair as it gets older. The calf feeds on its mother's milk for the first three years of its life. Then it starts to eat grass and other plants. It also has to learn how to behave around the adult members of the herd. An Asian elephant calf with its mother. See how they, earlier they said that they have an arched back? You can kind of see the arched back of the Asian elephant. A newborn elephant calf weighs between 170 and 250 pounds. It stand, stands about one yard or three feet high from the ground to its shoulder. A special day. The birth of a baby elephant is a special day for the herd. All the elephants crowd around the mother to touch her new calf. The elephants are very excited and make a lot of noise. An elephant calf will drink up to 20 pints of its mother's milk every day. That's a lot of milk. Having calves. A female elephant is old enough to have a calf when she is about 17 years old. She will have six or seven calves during her lifetime. She stops mating when she reaches 50 years of age. And here's an elephant calf exploring its habitat. Doesn't he look happy and curious? Growing up. A female elephant usually has several youngsters with her, ranging in age from a few months to 10 years. Young calves are protected by the herd. If the mother dies, the other elephants look after her young. Growing bigger. The calf becomes an adolescent, or like that's like a teenager, once it stops drinking its mother's milk at about three years of age. By this time it has teeth, which means it can eat plant food. It also has learned to use its trunk to find food. Female elephants keep growing until they are about 20 years of age. They do not grow much after this. Bull elephants, however, continue to grow until they are about 30 years old. And here's a fun fact. An African elephant weighs about 2,200 pounds by the time it is six years old. So that's just over a ton. A ton is 2,000 pounds. About half of all elephants die before they reach the age of 15. That's sad. Young elephants stay with their mother for the first eight to 10 years. Living in a herd. Female elephants live in family groups called herds. A typical herd is made up of three or four adult females and their calves of different ages. All the adult females are related. The herd is led by the oldest female. She is called the matriarch. The herd gets larger as more calves are born, so some of the females may leave and form their own herd. 
Young elephants learn by watching their mothers and other members of the herd. That's kind of like how kids learn. They watch what the other people, the older siblings, and what their parents are doing, and they kind of mimic that. We have a lot in common with elephants. Bull elephants, that means the boys. While they are growing up in the herd, the young bulls play together. They charge at each other and make a lot of noise. When they leave the herd, they live on their own or join other males. The adult bulls only rejoin the herd when a female is ready to mate. Then they go off on their own again. And here we have young bull elephants play fighting with each other. And a young bull elephant will leave the herd around 13 to 15 years of age. And a fun fact, sometimes herds join up to form a large family group that may have more than 200 elephants in it. Feeding. Once elephant calves stop taking milk from their mother, they become plant eaters or herbivores. This happens when calves are about three. Once they start to eat plants, elephants use their trunks to reach food. They also use their trunks to feed from the ground. The adults help the younger elephants to feed by pulling down branches for them. And here it says an elephant's trunk is long enough to reach up into the trees for leaves and fruit. Look at that. You can pick all the stuff that uh, the other ones can't reach. Probably the only other animal that can reach that high is a giraffe. Using their tusks. Elephants use their tusks to dig for food and to pull down trees. Calves have tiny milk tusks, which are only 13 to 15 inches long. These drop out before the calf reaches two years old and are replaced by permanent tusks. So it's like elephants have baby teeth just like uh, people do. A tusk grows from a small tooth at the front of the elephant's mouth. It is made of ivory. What do elephants eat? During the rainy months, elephants eat mostly grass. During the dry months, they eat shrubs, twigs, and bark. They eat flowers, fruits, and roots all year round. Every day, an elephant eats more, an adult elephant eats more than 330 pounds of food. That is the combined weight of two men. It's a lot of food every day. As they grow older, the young elephants have to learn what is good to eat and what they should avoid. Teeth. Elephants use their teeth for grinding down plant food. They break the food down into small pieces, then, when they, swallow, then they swallow it. Calves are born with four large teeth that are flat. New teeth form in the back of the mouth and push the old ones out. Elephants eat grass, leaves, root, roots, and fruit. They use their tusks to peel the bark of trees. The elephant moves its jaws from side to side, grinding the grass between its teeth. Adult teeth. An elephant usually grows six sets of teeth in its lifetime. The final set appear when it's about 40 years old. These are the largest teeth and each is eight inches long and weighs almost nine pounds. An elephant's teeth wear down as it gets older. Once its teeth are worn away, an elephant can't chew anymore, so it dies from starvation. And the elephant's tooth is the largest tooth produced by any mammal, and the lifespan of an elephant is about 70 years. That's a long time for a mammal. Trunks. An elephant uses its trunk to smell. The trunk is formed from the elephant's nose and upper lip. There are two nostrils that run down the whole trunk. Smell helps to keep the herd together. It allows elephants to detect predators, such as lions or tigers. At the first hint of danger, an elephant raises its trunk to smell the air. Smell also helps elephants find food and water. Elephants can pick up very small objects with the end of their trunks in the same way that we use our fingertips. Let me get a close-up of the end of the trunk. That part just kind of opens and closes to grab. How do elephants use their trunks? When a calf is about four months old, it starts to use its trunk. It has to learn how to move its trunk, just like a human baby has to learn to walk. 
At first the trunk just hangs down. The calf use the calf learns how to use I'm sorry, the, um, the calf learns how to use the different muscles to control movement. Elephants also use their trunks to explore their surroundings. The end of the trunk is very sensitive to touch. It has finger-like flaps at each end. Elephants rely on their trunks to sense danger in the air. Fun fact, the trunk plays such an important part in an elephant's life that it is almost impossible for an elephant to survive if its trunk is damaged. Communicating. Elephants, like humans, use different senses to communicate with each other. Elephants make rumbling sounds that we can't hear in order to talk to each other. They make the sounds with the voice box in their throat. These rumbles can be heard by other elephants as far as five and a half miles away. Most elephant talk takes place during the afternoon. Elephants greet each other by touching each other with their trunks. Fun fact, elephants use more than 70 kinds of sounds and 160 different signals in their daily lives. Wow, that's a lot. That's elephant language. Noises. Elephants make a trumpeting sound with their trunks when they are excited, surprised, or when they are about to attack. They also squeal, cry, scream, roar, snort, and groan. As they get older, elephant calves learn to make all these different sounds, and as their body gets bigger and their trunk gets longer, they are able to make louder sounds. Elephants use signals such as a raised trunk to show anger. Adult signals. Grown-up elephants flap their ears or raise their trunks and tails to communicate with each other. These are warnings to other animals that the elephant is angry. Touch is important too. Elephants of all ages touch each other with their trunks when they meet. Female elephants touch their calves a lot because they're taking care of their babies. Elephants are such large animals that they need a strong skeleton to support their body. Elephants normally have 20 ribs, which form a huge barrel-shaped rib cage. Around their bones are muscles. Muscles are attached to bones, and when they contract, they pull on the bone to make it move. Elephants can run faster than humans. Walking, running, and sliding. Elephants can walk and run, but they can't leap or jump like many other mammals. They walk at speeds of up to eight miles per hour. To walk faster, they take longer, quicker strides. Sometimes elephants climb up slopes or slide, them, slide down them. They can walk almost silently because they have a spongy cushion on the bottom of their feet, which muffles any noise. A charging elephant runs at 25 miles per hour. The skull of an adult elephant is massive. It can make up as much as one quarter of the elephant's weight. Wow. Well, you can believe that. That is a big, big head. Ah, I like this picture. Keeping cool. Elephants live in hot climates. Their large bodies heat up in the sun, so they often need to cool down. One way they do this is by, is by visiting water holes or rivers and having a swim. Elephants spend hours resting by water. The calves like to throw water over each other. Elephants love to wallow in mud too. A covering of mud helps to protect their skin. It acts like a sunblock, which is what we use to protect our skin from the sun. Elephants keep cool by spraying water over themselves with their trunks. That's what this picture is. And fun fact, elephants flap their ears to stay cool. The flapping motion allows them to lose heat to the surrounding air. I always thought it was because it was a fan, but no, it has a different, different purpose. Finding shade. During the hottest part of the day, elephants stand in the shade to stay cool. A calf elephant's skin is very sensitive to the sun. 
the mother elephant stands over her calves and young to shade them. As an elephant gets older, its skin gets thicker. There they are under a tree. That's a cute little picture. And mom shading her babies. Just a few more pages. Elephants in danger. This is important. Sadly, the number of elephants in the world has fallen. African elephants have been killed by humans for their ivory tusks. Ivory is valuable to humans. It is used to make ornaments and jewelry. During the 1970s and 1980s, thousands of elephants were killed. In 1999, there was a ban, that means that you can't do it, on the sale of ivory. Now most elephants are protected. Afri Here's showing a picture. All of these are tusks that they were killed for. Protecting elephants. Elephants are suffering because their habitat is being damaged. Forest trees are cut down for the lumber. Grasslands are used for grazing cattle and growing crops. There is less food and space for the elephants. Today, most wild elephants are found in national parks. These are places where the elephants are protected. Tourists can drive around the parks and see the elephants. Many Asian elephants work in the lumber industry. An adult elephant can drag about half its own weight. There are about 600,000 African elephants and 50,000 Asian elephants in the world. And that concludes our elephant research. So remember, go back, playback sections, you can stop and take notes. And if you would like any help with the details, I would love to help you. So you can email me at smazza -A at h-u-s-d dot com and I can contact you back and we can set up a Zoom session and I can help you with your report. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks. Have a great day.